Okay. So we're moving 12.5 meters east. I'm going to go ahead and use one centimeter. One centimeter equals one meter. Um, so I'm going to do 12 and a half centimeters. Boy, this is tiny. Let me uh, change my scale. When you're doing this on paper, you're going to change your scale repeatedly because I'll give you a problem where I screwed up and you have to like turn your paper sideways and do it corner to corner to get the scale to work. It's okay. You'll, you'll manage. So let's call two centimeters a meter, which would mean 25 centimeters. All right. So 10, 25. Okay, a little bit better. So I'm going to label this as displacement 1, 12.5 meters east. Now I have to turn at 30 degrees north of protractor. Where'd it go? There it is. North of east. So I'm going to take my protractor and I'm going to put the little bubble, the little dot, right on the tip of the first vector. I'm going to make a mark out here at 30. Okay, so I made a mark at 30 degrees towards the north from due east. We'll practice this. Now I'm going 5.0 meters, so that's going to be 10 centimeters on my scale. Okay. So there are my two vectors. This one is D2, 5.0 meters at 30 degrees north of east. So now I'm ready to do my resultant. And the resultant is literally a line that is connecting the what? Tail of the first vector to the head of the second. Now the thicker the marker or pen you're doing this with, the fuzzier your numbers are going to be. But you want to get this as exact as possible. Okay, that's my resultant. Now, I'm going to measure the distance of that resultant line, and that's actually the number of meters of travel. So I have 43 and a half centimeters. We're doing 2 centimeters equals a meter, so 21.75. No, 43 divided by 2, 21.75. Okay, so I screwed up again. 43, so the 40 divided by 2 is 20. Right. The 3 divided your by is 2 right. is... Oh, you're saying your line is different lengths. Yes. Yes, okay, that's fine. Um, now, we also have to get the heading. Because that distance alone is not sufficient to tell us where we are. So we're going to take our protractor, set the bubble right there. And we're going to mark this. It's really tough with a thick line. So I'm getting at about 12 degrees north of east. That is a complete answer. That is a graphical vector. When you learn how to do these algebraically, you can use this method to check yourself. Okay. In the meantime, it's an approximation. Now, you know, somebody said, well, I got 17 meters. What's the range of answers we have? And I'm going to I'm going to stop the video now and we'll go back to Dosseri.